guys, this is Carla, and this time I'm here with a review for episode 15 of season 2 of Scorpion. This episode is titled The Bomb, and can I just say that it's a horrid, horrid episode title. I mean, I know it's part of this show's kind of whole shtick to have really bad episode titles, like really cheesy, but this one is the worst. I mean, I'm laughing it's so bad, it's just... That episode title, man, just... I can't take those titles seriously. Um, as for the episode itself, I didn't really like it much, honestly. I mean, the whole thing with someone actually, like, kidnapping Walter's date to strap a bomb on her so they could sabotage her rocket launch. I don't... I don't, I don't know. I didn't really care, which is weird because I usually like the space stuff. I like rockets. I like NASA, but it just didn't grab me. I like that they brought Merrick back, and I like that Merrick is now dead and buried, and probably carbonized by this point. Um, I, I like that idea, and I, I like that it kind of sets up a new big bad for the season, because we don't really know who Merrick was working for. That said, I just didn't care about the goings-on. I just... All that I really cared about was the reveal that it was Merrick, you know? Um, as for the whole bomb thing, there were so many things. I mean, sure, they're going to put her in a tank full of ballistics gel. However, they never gave her the lead plate until the bomb was already set to explode. It's like, really? Were you just going to have her there? and let a bomb explode on her. Yes, I know the ballistics gel is supposed to, you know, absorb the energy to one side. What about the other side? Bomb ex bombs usually explode, you know, in a radius. <laughs> so that thing would have destroyed her probably in half, you know? So <laughs> but it was kind of weird. And then by the end, when the bomb is set to explode anyway, then Walter's all like, Yes, let me go in with you so I can give you this lead, um, I don't know, this lead panel that you're going to put between the vest and your body and it will protect you. Why did you do that from the beginning? You know, that was kind of strange. Um, but overall, I like the idea of it, in a sense, um, I like the fact that Walter's trying to put himself out there, um, and obviously he still can't because human interaction is kind of too far away for him to comprehend in a way, but um, I like that the date didn't go well as he initially said he did, um, and I just, I really loved um, the girl whose name now escapes me, Laura, was it? I don't remember, something with an L. Um, but I really liked her because, probably because she's played by Brooke Nevin, whom I love. She's like an icon of my childhood, come on. But I really like her and I thought she was nice about it. I mean, for somebody who had a bomb strapped to her, she could have been much, much meaner to Walter. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's, it's almost understandable that she was snapping at him. And she was still pretty nice to him by the end, even though she didn't. I mean, for a while there, I thought she was actually going to, you know, accept to going out with him again because he saved her. I'm glad she didn't because, um, I don't know. I mean, I think putting a person in a in a bomb vest, it's it's going to put things in perspective. So yeah, I, I don't think she'd want to get involved in all that stuff. Um. But still, it was, I felt like nothing, I felt like I wasn't even paying attention until the Merrick reveal. It, it felt like the whole, oh, we have to set up the bomb for sabotage, and oh, now we have to fix it so that it doesn't explode the, the rocket. Uh, I was like, it's, I didn't really care, you know, and there were a few plot points that I, I mean, how did um, the girl even know that? Walter was at Scorpion. How could I mean? I guess Merrick told her somehow, but still, like, I don't know. It felt kind of nebulous. It felt like they were doing stuff and then going back and forth, 
and this whole thing of how are we going to distract Nevin with just Sylvester go talk to him about comic books. I'm like, really? It, it didn't hit me. I liked most of it from the reveal on. Because I, I like when there's continuity, so I enjoyed the fact that Mary got, Mary got to come back. Because, let's face it, man is a jackass and he deserved to die. In a fictional context, of course, but, yeah, I'm allowed to hope for his death in a fictional context. Um, and I liked that somebody died, you know, because in the show, it's, the stakes are usually so ridiculously high that you don't really think they're ever going to come through because it's always like, oh, you know, this nuclear bomb is going to explode or, like, the, there will be some X reaction in the stratosphere or, I don't know, the entire United States of America will be without electricity forever or... It's always, like, such huge stakes that you don't really think it's ever going to go wrong and, you know, the heroes always come back safe. You know, we never, I never feel like any of them are going to die. And, okay, they still haven't, and I don't think they will, but it's nice that somebody died, because uh, everything just seems to resolve itself so cleanly, you know? Nobody ever dies. So, I, I like that Merrick died, not just because he was a jerk, but just because it kind of ups the stakes a bit. It's like, yes, okay, these are dangerous things they're doing, so I enjoyed that, and like I said, I liked the girl. Lara, was, was her name Lara? I can't remember. Um, I liked her, and I... I thought it was interesting that she didn't, you know, give into a second date with Walter because I, I thought for sure that they were going to go that way and they didn't and I was pleasantly surprised, you know, by that. So, interesting. I still hope that, you know, they don't keep pushing this will they won't they with Paige. I mean, come on. I, she wasn't even that jealous, was she? But... I do hope that this is kind of helping Walter see that, hey, you know, maybe opening yourself up to Paige won't be that bad a thing. I like that he opened himself to this girl. Um, just admitted that he's lonely and that he wants to have something like his friends have. That is very, it's a breakthrough for him, really, because this is the guy who says he doesn't have feelings, remember? So it's good that he's admitting something, and I mean, all it took was a bomb, so... It's progress as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, if only he could, you know, admit it to Paige that maybe having a relationship wouldn't be such a bad thing. I don't know. I just don't want them to overstretch this will they or won't they thing. They already... Okay, now they have something going with uh, Happy and Toby, which I'm really happy about. Um, if they can give Walter a bit more progress on that area, that would be nice. Just so that it doesn't feel like they're stretching things on for too long. Um, so yeah, it was, I don't know, it, it was a weird episode in the sense that I didn't pay attention to it for like three quarters of the thing, and then by the last quarter I was like, oh, okay, maybe this isn't so bad. There were still things that bothered me, of course, I mean, if we're talking science in this show, there's always something that bothers me, but I think this was one of those episodes where I just couldn't, I couldn't kind of give them a pass on the science. I mean, the bomb thing just really, really bugged me. You're trying to save a woman's life. You don't just stick her in ballistic shell with no protection whatsoever when the bomb explodes inwards. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those things that I just can't get past. Um, but there were good things in this episode. I liked Wal the progress with Walter. I liked, um, the girl, Laura. Oh god, this is going to haunt me. Is her name Laura? I can't remember. Um, but I liked her. I liked that they brought in Brooke Nevin. I like that they're bringing in all these people from my childhood. I mean, first it was Camille Guati, and now Brooke Nevin, and it's just... <sighs> let's not talk about, um, Toby, you know? It's... Oh, man. Those are the days. But really, um, I, I, there were things of this episode I really enjoyed, but for the most part, I just didn't really care. So, looking forward to seeing where this new arc goes. Um, 
who this big bad is and how it's going to come back to haunt the scorpion people later on. And, I don't know, it's, it is what it is. It wasn't the greatest episode, but it wasn't terrible either. Let's just put it that way. So, that's about it for my review for this episode. Um, as usual, if you guys want to see more reviews from Scorpion, be sure to visit our website at thegeekypop.com. We have reviews for this show and also for other TV shows, for books, for movies, games. We have a ton of stuff in there, so be sure to visit and browse around. You'll find something you like. Also, if you want to be notified as soon as possible whenever we upload a new review, then you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The button should be right below the stream. Um, and uh, that's where the reviews go up first, usually, even before they hit the website, they're on YouTube. So if you want to receive a notification straight away when we upload anything new, then subscribing to YouTube is what you should do. Um, and that's it for me. So I'll see you guys in my next review. Bye.